Hey everyone, so I have just bought pocket chip and it has just arrived today. Now, some of you might be wondering that why did I bother with this in 2019 when the company that made it, Nexting Co, is now defunct. So actually I really wanted to buy it because it actually looks damn cool and it can be a novelty item and maybe in the future it will be a collectible. So I bought it for that and another reason is Poco 8. Now I really love this, uh, uh, what do they call it, the fantasy console. It's like a, um, you know, an environment where 8-bit games could be made, played and shared. So these are not like old classic games. It's a community built game that can be distributed on this platform. So this is uh, uh, the Poco 8. I already uh, you know, opened it and uh, you can see there are fairly uh, large collection of games here. One of my favorite is uh, Little uh, Dragon Adventures and it's really great for, for uh, you know, an 8 bit game. Now this game is, uh, you know, quite simple in a sense but it's still pretty nice to play so that is one of the reasons that i have also bought a pocket chip and uh, other than that if i you know being honest then uh, it's uh, doesn't have community support so it did give me a little bit of problems in the beginning when i was trying to you know uh, get some of the games that are on the higher version or let's say the latest version of Poc uh, poco 8 so it's not a Raspberry Pi. I mean, Raspberry Pi is awesome. And I already made a video on that. And uh, as you can see, I have upgraded from that. Uh, I already added a fan for it because uh, I was doing a lot of extensive uh, you know, work on it. And uh, it was getting uh, fairly heated. So that's one thing I have uh, you know, made a change to my Raspberry Pi. And uh, other than that, uh, mostly in the environment and the OS, I have made certain changes upgraded it a bit uh, and personalized it but this video is not about uh, raspberry pi this is about pocket chip so one thing uh, like if you are you know uh, trying to buy it then uh, good luck there is still certain people who are selling it but you cannot get it directly from the company as uh, i've already mentioned it has now been defunct but if you do plan to buy it then there's one thing that you need to take care of that uh, you need to update your repositories if you want to update something and get it running. So the Linux user will already know what uh, to do on that, but I will give you a little bit of, uh, you know, material to how to do that. So on the source list, you can just uh, edit it by nano. And uh, from here you can get uh, the, you know, mirror repository that you can just paste it there and it would work. I will give both of these links in the description below and uh, other than that uh, another thing that uh, you know really attracted me about uh, pocket chip is uh, how you know, great it is this is the main uh, cpu the uh, chip computer and uh, what uh, the company has actually done is uh, it's provided a fairly big case if you can see i have a large hand but uh, for that even for them you know it fairly fits so that's the pocket chip and uh, it has that nine dollar chip computer and the battery and the board itself it doesn't have a speaker and uh, keys are okay -ish, i would say but you know from uh, like different websites you can get the 3d printed files and get them 3d printed from uh, either from your own printer or from some uh, like say a third party service and uh, it could be um, made to, uh, you know, I made a good, uh, like what you say, a face plate and a, a keyboard that, uh, you know, I mean, it's not a bad one. It, you can see the mechanical uh, piece here that, you know, gives that sound, but still, you know, working on it uh, sometimes is, you know, doesn't feel that satisfactory. So, yeah, I mean, a keyboard uh, would be a nice addition. Other than that, uh, you know, it got a Linux terminal, which is, uh, you know, uh, what you will need to run this. Uh, I mean, it's fairly simple. You know, your sudo app, uh, get commands and all this Linux command work perfectly. And if you need to browse something like uh, anything, you have the surf uh, software.
software here so for that i mean i will like to tell that uh, you know you need to type search and then the entire address of the website that you need to browse so when you click that it will open up in surf it will go through that uh, uh, i'm not connected to the wi-fi right now so it's not uh, showing uh, the web page right now but you can do that and uh, yeah basically you can get all the linux commands here and uh, you can just uh, uh, you know you can just do all those uh, software that you want and you can just install them and thing. there are other different things that uh, come preloaded in the system itself like the this uh, music maker and uh, it is also a fairly nice system you can uh, do a lot of things here and play them now right now it doesn't have a speaker but you can uh, plug in an audio uh, jack here and uh, listen uh, to the sounds from that and it got a right <coughs> file here you can uh, type anything and uh, you can even save it and but uh, sometimes these things uh, you know the options are very fairly small so you can't just uh, use your finger sometimes best to use a pencil and uh, just get uh, this thing to work <coughs> or sometimes you might struggle in this but uh, has it not a you know perfect uh, uh, it's not a perfect system in any way but it's still a nice thing i mean uh, if you have uh, like serious work to do then uh, don't buy this if you are just going to play on it and do some uh it uses it you uh, you want to use it as a secondary thing or a handheld device for some programming and some fun and go for it also another thing this thing does not come with a charger so you have to use your own this has a micro usb port here and you can basically plug in almost any charger right now i'm using this uh, raspberry pi charger here and it's giving me a decent voltage here so i'm not finding any problem with that and uh, yeah this is i mean i like it even with its flaw i think uh, it's a good purchase and uh, if you're planning on doing some you know, breakthroughs or some hardcore computing then don't buy this but if you want to do some basic simple stuff play some games make some games uh, even browse some of the things here and there then yeah it's a, a good system and uh, it's basically a you know a simple linux terminal to be precise and yeah i mean it's uh, uh, it's not a waste of money, but uh, it uh, is sometimes do feel lacking in uh, some ways. But other than that, if uh, you want to buy it for playing games uh, and uh, you want to, um, uh, you know, just want to have a cool device, and this is a must-have. So another thing, last thing that I would say that uh, if you're really going to plan uh, to buy the system. I would suggest that you get a keyboard here. I am going to get one. I am going to get it 3D printed and uh, apply it here because uh, even though uh, these keys aren't that bad, you can uh, do fairly good stuff here with these keys. And uh, it's not a bad thing. I mean, you have function and you have uh, shift. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's not very, you know, user friendly i would say because you need to uh, type a lot then it sometimes gives you a headache so i wouldn't recommend it for you know long term use if you want to use it for long term like uh, two three hours in a, a stretch then do get a uh, 3d printed keyboard to go along here other than that yeah it's a fairly nice system and you can play a lot of games on it and the terminal is very useful if, if you don't want to surf the web like uh, from this uh, surf uh, uh, program then uh, obviously you can uh, type sudo app that and uh, get uh, a firefox uh, for example and do it from there it's, it's doable so yeah that is why i bought uh, pocket chip in 2019 even though it doesn't have support so but i can you know just get the repositories 
a mirror repositories uh, on this system and get it running and uh, do basic stuff and it's a good thing to play with okay guys thanks for watching this video uh, if you have any comment leave it in the dungeon down below and once again thank you